The Wave Glider is an autonomous robot, and we travel the ocean. We stay at sea for up to a year. It's a wave-powered vehicle for all of its propulsion. For all the compute and communications, it's solar-powered. We carry sensors on board, and then we communicate that data in real time back to our customer sites. We provide uh, what we call environmental assessment data. How big are the waves? How strong are the currents? Uh, the wind speed? Things of this nature. Companies that are doing shipping operations, think about oil and gas, commercial shipping, uh, coast guards, anybody that's running vessels in an area, they want to know in that particular area, what does it look like? Defense departments and in particular navies, typically what they're tracking with this vehicle is tracking submarines, providing intelligence information. These are vehicles that are quiet, they don't have any engine, obviously there's no crew. We harness the energy of wave motion just going up and down. With uh, up motion, it will pull the wings up and water pressure pushes down on the wings. Gravity drops the vehicle down, water pressure pushes the wings up. So this literally, when we drop this in the water, it starts swimming and it looks, almost looks like it's alive. Ocean energy is constant, whether it's good weather, bad weather, there's always movement in the ocean and so it's literally an endless supply of energy. Collecting data in the ocean turns out to be really expensive. So the ways that it's done today are satellites, which cost billions of dollars to launch and operate, uh, ships and typically manned ships, and the further you go away from shore, the more expensive it gets. So these platforms, uh, for about $5,000 a day, can uh, collect any data that our customers are looking for. And in fact, the reason the ocean is so underserved is because it is so expensive and dangerous, people just don't do it. If you think of what's happening on land today and the whole Internet of Things and Google and all that, there's a rich data set which does not exist in the ocean. There's a whole industry that will be created by being able to provide this real-time data.